To be the best of all, better than competition, incredible work, psychological stability and patience and the strongest desire for victories are the key to the success. Intrusive thoughts haunt you day and night. Nerves like threat are stretched to the limit and ready to break at any moment. Fears materialize, turning into awakened monsters. Those who have not yet become stronger, have not formed their mental balance, can fall into the psychological abyss. Hello everyone and welcome to the Bitter Popcorn channel and today as you probably guessed we will talk about the topic the price of success and it's about the movie The Black Swan. <laughs> First stress immersively presses abuses. Extreme stress turns your life into existence, disposes it from all of its joys. Mental suffering as a consequence of a emotional stress. They are so unbearable that they make you impose this physical pain on yourself. Then comes fear. He's like a spider, like a monster, crawling up to you, trying to get his paws to every corner of your being. An injection of adrenaline. Hands become wet. The heart is pounding wildly. The subconscious mind, under the influence of the fear, forms realistic, frightening illusions. Panic, uh, coma, horror. Only self-control does not allow fear to develop into phobia. Good. A gentle, intimidated, defenseless creature should be reborn into a confident and strong personality. A sweet girl should let go of herself and at the same time let go of her childhood full of fears and complexes. There is no one in the world who would help her cope with this situation. Even the mother chained in her own chains of her own failures and complexes. She's like her weight pulls the girl to the bottom, not allowing her to leave her own life and in a theater there are only enemies and competitors waiting for a fatal mistake of the heroine to replace her shadow of regret there is no loved ones no close friends she's absolutely alone meanwhile physical and psychological pressure from all sides like a press compresses the fragile body of a ballerina not allowing her to breathe deeply only complete self-control helps a lonely girl to hold on but black and white cannot coexist organically in a normal person. In a mad desire to be the best, in a pursuit of perfection, in a search of reverse side of her soul, a white swan will turn into a black one in a dream and in reality. No. Talented director, talented actors, what could be more beautiful than this harmony? The beautiful and cold heroine Natalie Portman and lively and uninhibited heroine Mila Kunis is clear contrast of opposites. Venona Riders is uh, unrecognizable in her new image, a fallen and broken ballerina. Vincent Cassel's character is cruel and pessimistic but insightful and fair. On the verge of positive and negative images the heroine of Barbara Hershey is insane in her selfishness other ballerinas are unpleasant in their undisguised envy Aronofsky is known of always getting the most out of actors even the real fighter Mickey Rourke by this admission was hard on the set on the movie the wrestler and what to say about the fragile Natalie Portman for her the role of ballerina Nina has become truly iconic the beautiful actress on the screen almost always played the role of a white swan. The director also gave her the opportunity to show the dark reflection in a cinema mirror. And Natalie is brilliant in her new look. She's perfect. She's flawless. Like many of Darren Aronofsky films, Black Swan tells a human tragedy, but the excellent beauty of a picture distinguishes it from the director's previous works. And as one great writer said, beauty will save the world.
under classical music dramatic scenes like on a carousel are replaced one after another the images are bright and colorful the choreography is beautiful the final of the film is grandiose the ballet was really a success black swan captivates and fascinates keeps you in suspense until the very end the action takes place on the verge of a nervous breakdown and the intensity of the internal struggle literally blows from the screen. Darren Aronofsky's dark, illusory fairy tale makes you experience and rethink what you've seen. A powerful and tragically beautiful story. One word I can say it is brilliant. And what is it actually? Is it a dream on the verge of a reality or a reality on the verge of a dream? Thanks a lot for watching. You'll be on a bit of popcorn. Like if you liked it, subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment and see you in the next episode.